let's go. It's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. It's another episode of the Mystified Tech with Sam. I'm yours truly, Sam Aladrani, hosting you to demystifying different types of technology you can think of. On today's show is, you know, new month. And then I ended the previous month, started a new month. So it's Ask Me Anything session. Today is going to be you asking me all your tech questions all the way from AI, mixed reality, augmented reality, virtual reality, robotics, IoT, anything. Pretty much ask me anything. A bonus point will be unboxing two toys I've got. I've, I've been waiting to do the unboxing. So we'll be doing the unboxing one after the other. So we have one hour for you to ask me any question and then also to unbox a new two toy that I have. So with that said, welcome. If you're joining us, it's your first time. Uh, thank you very much for making time with me. Make sure you subscribe, you share the link and hit the notification bell so that when I put out any content, you will be part of the first people to get it. And don't forget to subscribe also to the channel. We'll really appreciate appreciate that um, as well. Well, so, awesome. As you know it, before we get into the show, let's go take a montage. And when we're back, we're going to get started. This is the modding techies journey, not modding developers journey. I think I need to change that. Uh, more sound. Uh, can you guys hear me well? I think I'm peeking here. Let's see if I can push my sound a bit more. Let's do this. Give me a sec. Let's see. Uh, let me know if the sound is okay. Um, yeah, I mean... Don't worry, uh, sound is going to be one of the things that will change on the stream pretty soon because one of the things I'm going to be unboxing has to do with my audio setup. I've had this, um, I've had the, you know, the equipment ready for some time now, but I just hadn't had the time to connect it so I give you a good experience. But um, after today's show from, you know, next week, you're going to hear different sound, different things. So uh, thank you, Shadak, for that. Welcome to the stream. Make sure you're inviting your friends and your friends' friends' friends to join the stream so we can have some fun. So thank you, thank you for joining us as we always uh, get started. I want to put some things out there. Operation 1000 is still on. The year is almost over. Um, I need to hit 1,000 plus subscribers so that I can, I'll be able to do a lot more things. So please, 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 if you haven't subscribed, please, right here, subscribe. I mean, go to my YouTube channel, subscribe, invite your friends, subscribe. This is a tech channel. We do a lot of interesting and cool stuff. And trust me, even next year is going to be much crazier and awesome. All the way, a lot from, you know, mixed reality stuff, HoloLens, Oculus. Think about it. Crazy, crazy stuff. 3D printing, laser, a lot of crazy stuff going to happen. So, yeah, welcome, Eddie, also to Edward, to the show. You need to make sure you subscribe and also get your friends to subscribe. So, out of the way, um, <laughs> Tech on Reels is also happening next year. Uh, the long wait is over. A lot of things we're waiting for have arrived, so we we can gladly start Tech on Wheels. If you don't know what Tech on Wheels is, Tech on Wheels is a uh, kind of like social project where we're taking technology to the deprived people, male, female, whatever that is, you know, um, to the you know rural areas from 3D printing, programming, IoT, robotics, you name it. We're taking it all to you. So if you want to be part of it to volunteer to support, uh, reach out to me on any of my socials. Um, down here and then I'll get in touch with you we can make this happen for people so with that out of the way what are we doing so it's ask me anything don't forget um, to keep it interactive I'm going to be doing the unboxing as well so keep your questions coming all right keep your questions coming so that um, if you have a question just put it in the chat um, any of the chat whether you're watching from Facebook from Twitter um, from YouTube um, just ask the question i would also be monitoring my YouTube from here as well, um, and then we can actually look at it. Uh, so if you're watching from uh, from Twitter, from Facebook, from YouTube, thank you so much for joining. Uh, if you have a questions, please drop them here so that we would, you know, would try to answer them. Um, to keep it interactive, whilst I am um, so uh, as I'm waiting for your questions and things to come in, what I'll be doing is that I'll go straight to the unboxing. So we can start unboxing, seeing what we have. And then once your questions coming, I'll pause and answer your questions. So, um, okay. The first question is, 
the first question is in from Edward. You're saying that how useful are NFTs in the metaverse? So, um, pretty much the common ground for NFTs. First of all, what is you know NFTs? So, so non-fungible tokens. Pretty much someone who say uh, almost like um, cryptocurrency. Um, they're in the same spectrum, but a bit different. Um, NFTs are pretty much more geared towards art impressions but pretty much to use the same almost a similar concept as um distributed ledgers or cryptocurrency in, in, in that kind of thing so metaverse is nft going to be any useful yes it would be because here is a case metaverse and nft have something in common digital right so nft is more used for digital art um and uh, metaverse digital verse or the next or alternative verse therefore it might be one of the means to purchase or to do transactions in the metaverse already we have cryptocurrencies playing ground already so cryptocurrencies might be used in the metaverse uh, but i see also nfts also playing a role so nfts might be part of um the legal tender in the metaverse i hope that answered your question edward um yep 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 so keep your questions coming all right so um i mentioned earlier on that one of the things I want to unbox has to do with sound. It's the smallest of the gadgets. We have an arm. Try to make it very uh, captivating. I, I'm not promising we'll be able to do all the unboxing in an hour because one involves assembly. Uh, but I'll show you what's in there, open it up, and then maybe subsequently on my blogs or some other channel, maybe the unboxing or less experiment channel, I'll show you how that works. Right. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, that's too good to know. Um, uh, D, that, that answered your question. So keep your questions coming. Ask your friends. I mean, go to go to your your WhatsApp, go to your Twitter, just put it there. Ask your friends. Hey, it's Friday night. If you don't do anything, let's learn something new. Let's you know, learn something new. Let's have some fun. Let's see some new toys and stuff like that. So yeah, let's do that. All right. So I'm gonna switch to the bench, and this is what we have. The first thing we're gonna unbox here is the Mono Caster, right? Uh, light. So uh, for a while now, I have been wanting to get a proper audio interface for my my streams. Um, right now, what you're seeing me use, let's go back to, well, let me show you my, you realize that I'm, I'm using just, you know, the head of my headset with a mic. So um, the sound is not that great. I've taken off some filters I've added because it wasn't sounding too well. But I've had this, let me bring this in view for, for you to see. I've had this Shure SM7 uh, for like I think over a year now, right? Um, it was going to be for the for the show, my podcast, and stuff like that. I had it connected because earlier on I had to wait for this uh, preamp. Uh, it's a fat head that allowed you to get a lot more gain into this microphone, right? This finally, you know, came, and I still wasn't using it for the stream um, because I the setup was a bit I don't know it was just i just couldn't probably find time or get to use it well so i also already had um this let me actually let's go to the bench since we've already seen the microphone we can move here to the bench so i also had um this it's the iRig, right so this allowed me to connect um you know um xlr or you know come you know mics with <laughs> yeah oh <laughs> welcome <laughs> we have a surprise <laughs> guest on the show welcome 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 steve it's been a long time yes yes i know so um such is the spirit of community and one of my okay the sponsor of the mic just joined the stream welcome <laughs> yes i'm finally going to put it to you know a lot of use uh in the next episode so thank you thank you so much for that so finally the fetter came um so i had the iric 2 which allowed me to pretty much do bypass and stuff like that so especially on my podcast i would be able to actually pick a phone call and pipe that into my podcast or even pipe that to my stream so let's say in the in the in the near future if i decide to do callings into the show i will use this iric i would have used the iric to do the bypass as well but but not too long and then not to forget um i also use the um the zoom h6 i had a zoom um i had a zoom h6 which i was using mainly for my podcast and i could set this up and use it for my stream 
and the same thing you know how to connect the usb connect to it it becomes an audio interface connect it and the advantage this gave me was i would be able to also record the audio that was coming in so if i wanted to put this audio into a podcast or something like that i already had clean audio that i could work with right this still works i and when i'm doing some of my live streams um i mean mobile live streams i use the h6 a lot um but now i just i just needed a more dedicated rig for my stream setup here so um so when um so when my friend dara was like hey dude uh, and, and hey big ass to dara uh, back in the uk hope you're doing great so when dara was like hey man i'm i'm using this new i got this new um uh, Mauno Caster Light audio interface, uh, and it was you know, pretty much it was good. I was okay. Well, I need to get my hands on it. And disclaimer: this is not um, a paid promotion or anything. This was bought with I, my own funds, so it's not. I'm, I'm not. It's not any biased views or anything. All the things I'm going to unbox and talk about today are not any promote promoted stuff. It's just me trying to you know get my hands on stuff, learn, use them, and share. And, you know, pretty much have my own fun. So uh, unbiased. So let's get into it. Uh, I'm going to open this up and don't forget today is still ask me anything. So this is just to keep us engaged. We, ju we just can't be sitting there talking about stuff. If you have anything you want us to be talking about, we can talk about it whilst we do the unboxing. So two in one. All right. So uh, let's see. What does it say? So here, if I put this, um, it has a USB-C. Uh, there is um, output, 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 output. Oh wow! So it has, so there is um, one, two, three output going to phone, and then you can have another output that goes to a speaker or goes to a headphone, right? And then you have uh, a music output as well that can also go to um, the phone. So and then there is okay, so that. There is a headset specifically for monitoring. And yes, this is something I have been wanting to do for a very long time. So I have this um, cool uh, earbuds. All right. Um, these ones, pretty pretty cool earbuds. All right. And I wanted a way to connect them to my, you know, to my rig. So I could monitor and listen to what, you know, what I was saying. Like right now, I'm not monitoring myself. That's fine because I don't want a delay or anything. So that's fine. But one of the challenges was that if I was doing, let's say, an IoT show, right? For IoT, I would need to be moving around from the bench and stuff like that. So I don't, I didn't want a lot of wires all on me. Like it, it was going to be very destructive. So one of the things I thought of was to get this and put it on a pack on me, right? Where I can monitor the, you know, the audio, especially when I'm doing interviews with other people. So I already also had the, I have this, um, this wireless uh, set from mobile right two in one so the plan is now with this audio interface I can now use my show SM camera uh, sorry microphone to this and also potentially um, if I wanted to just to get let's say just to listen to myself I could use this transceiver to do that all right but this not um, this is not for for today so we'll, we'll, we'll probably talk about that later so yeah, don't forget, keep your questions coming. So once it's set up, this will be one of the things I'm going to be connected to it, uh, connecting to it in addition to the um, in addition to the, the show microphone. So let's get into it. This sounds interesting. So um, I'll be trying it out. So from, from next from from the next stream, you might be hearing different sound. Um, and then we'll, you can compare that to just the headset and this. I'm sure this is going to be. So let's quickly open it up. Let's not waste too much time. Uh, let's open it up and see what's in it because I'm more I'm much excited about the next big one that we're going to be unboxing okay so nice packaging uh, there is um, a help card there is a user manual oh I think there's a microphone in it oh yeah there is it's a condenser microphone oh sweet then it means that this would already have a preamp I wouldn't need to have a fed I, I wouldn't need to connect a fed head to it it will pretty much allow me to do this okay yeah so that's so as you can see this is showing how to connect to it because the condenser mic where to you know look from how to connect it onto the stand trust me i will not be using this microphone i this i'm sure smc is 
we're way way i prefer way that way that better but hey who knows um for the podcast if i have uh three or four people in the studio where i wanted to do the podcast definitely i will use that i'll use a mic that com- comes with this one so here there's a manual it looks um this looks really cool it has um electric okay music chain key changes so one thing i liked about this is um so the 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 ability to add kind of like effect or uh sound effect into you know the tabs that i can easily press all right okay so let's put this here uh we have so let me put it by here so you can probably make out the dimensions let me push this here we have the uh well let's see let's show the happy one <laughs> Then there is a letter of letter to customer. Thank you for yeah the package. Yeah, that's fine. And then there is another card. Okay, which I think is very nifty. So here, the card actually is going to help you pretty much like do the connect connection, showing you how to do the connection if you want to use it for live stream or you want to use it for you know stuff like that. So I think that's cool. Computer. If, so if you're doing computer and mobile streaming, it gives you the way to connect it. So oh so this would be an auto to your phone to do the streaming and you could put another one there as an input for music oh okay 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 so so what they're showing us is how we can connect it if you're using streaming and then if you're doing music recording as well however you want that so it can, so it's, it's still a usb so the reason why i'm more excited about this is it's usb type c so that means that i have actually two spare usb type c ports behind my laptop so i can connect it directly and I know that, you know, that's a dedicated port to it. Unlike the um, Zoom H6, I had to sacrifice one, you know, three, three USB 3.0 ports just to keep it consistent in there. So this is cool. All right. And what do we have here? So we lift this. So this is the package itself. Um, not too heavy, not too light. So think good, as you can see it. Uh, I think it comes pre uh, program with some of the sound things, but I, I hope and believe you should be able to change it. If that's not the case, that would be a... I mean, I think going forward, I think that... Um, I haven't used it, but I from, from the fact that they have letterings on it, uh, cheers, laughter, gunshots, slaps, uh, slappings, awkward, applause. Yes, these are common things, but it would be cool to, to have left them blank and made them programmable so that... I could load them i could load these banks with anything that i want you know uh yeah the sliders don't feel cheap they feel i think good quality yeah yeah not bad all right and you can see here uh, let me turn it this way so we can see this here so let me bring it closer there you go all right so let's put this here what else do we have oh okay so now we have the microphone uh oh yeah like i said the, i won't i won't use this for i mean i won't use this yeah the, the micro microphone feels very light well i'm not saying because it's light is not quality i i'm yet to test it but it just feels light right you know out out of the box feels a bit light um yeah like i said i have a sure sm7 you know so i would i would really wouldn't use this as my um go to microphone for the stream or the podcast that will not happen so yeah yeah if you have any questions don't forget it's ask me anything uh today so ask the question and i will try my best to answer it yeah there is a windshield for the microphone um here uh so there is the yeah so there's a trx there's also another trx no tt yeah it's ttrx okay two of the ttrx cables um there could also be used some music production apart from stream. yes this could also, yes this could yes this yes yeah, so this could also be used yes for music production uh aside streaming i am um, oh mr edmondson joined us um you know what let's go let's let's quickly go to um let's see mr edmond singh let, let me actually uh check out the pricing right now um for you 
let's see. Um, honestly, I didn't have that. So let's let me check it. Let me just check how much I got this, and then. Well, good question, Mr. Edmondson. How do you enhance your light your your live stream? Okay, so this. So first off, for the price, well, it's less than hundred dollars. So it was well, just say hundred dollars. It was ninety nine ninety nine. Um, let me show you this. So it's not like I'm, I'm quoting some numbers. I'm not. So as you can see from the screen, the last time it was purchased from Amazon was 99.99. So it's pretty much like hundred dollars. So that's the price for it. Well, so good question. Uh, so, so Edmund saying, um, keys to a quality stream is content, right? That's one. If you have good content, obviously that's a very good start. Um, hardware really, really doesn't matter. If your content is good but it plays a role you know if you want to enhance it so your sound quality will be one uh, if you're doing video stream your video quality at some point too but to get started you know any I mean of late most of the phones have good web uh, cameras that you can use but I would say the content itself your a good sound um, and good video right it's all you need and then also um, your I think the way you present it, the way you carry your audience along also plays a, you know, plays a key role. So for me, this would be the, th the three things that you need to enhance, especially for, if you're doing Facebook live streaming, you can, you, Facebook live stream doesn't always have to be just a phone, because sometimes people want to have a full experience. That's one thing I've noticed. If you're doing um, a lot of the Facebook or the mobile specific live streams, um, and, and you're showing stuff, a lot of things are cut off. So one of the challenges I have in trying to stream to Instagram and TikTok is that imagine I'm showing you how to code and I have to, um, you know, just show portions of my screen or having to squeeze my screen into a different ratio and put it up there. That would be, um, I don't know how, for me, it might be a, a bit of um, a little experience. So, but then a good camera would, you know, some kind of like wide angle or wide view would be good, but you can always start with, you know, a good phone. Lately, almost all the phones are um, of good of good quality. I hope that answered your question to get more thing else. I mean, hey, uh, we can connect and um, I can help, you know, I'll give you some more uh, feedback and stuff like that. So I guess I was wrong. So the interface is still USB type. I think it's still USB type, you know, USB A. Ah, so it's USB type A. There you go. So it's the, it's, the interface that is type C okay so my my honest feedback okay hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on there is an adapter ah, again even though there's an adapter to phones let's see mobile phone adapter plugging light when using uh, smart okay so um, my friends at uh, Mauno the my only request will be that because most people would want to use, um, would want USB Type C. One, one of the things I found, I found out about, I could have an adapter, right? I could have a USB, um, a USB Type, uh, let's say Type A to Type C adapter and connect it. If I connect it, I might have degraded quality, all right? I might have degraded quality. So I would probably, um, I would ask that if possible, they, they pretty much also provide provide you with uh, maybe USB type C to USB type C so that people that want to do a type C connection can use that but apart from that you get two of this T T uh, T R R S you get the adapter you get the interface connection and you have the XLR um, you, get, you have the XLR to the TRX uh, TRX cable all right so pretty much um, pretty much that's that's it um, I will I will test it not on a show obviously uh, and I'll again so those will be my immediate comment the, the cable the cables the making this programmable but any which ways uh, those are feedbacks that um, I'll send to them any which ways uh, to see how they can you know we can work on this but with that said I think um, that will be it if you have any um, if you have any questions about um, how do you call it? If you have any questions about the, um, the this um, kit, uh, let me know. 
and I'll see if I can answer them. If I can't answer them, uh, we'll probably will just reach out to their support, and then we'll take it from there. So uh, that's that to be it for the first thing to unbox. I will be using it, and I'll be giving you more feedback on my social channels, and then also um, you might probably hear the difference in the audio from you know from next week's um, streams, and then we can tell that hey you know if this is really uh, what we want to do, but the only thing for me, I mean, it's a personal thing that I, I would have wished, you know, it was, um, that's a mic in the box. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It has that. Yeah. That's the mic in the box. So that, that it comes to the mic. So if you, if you wanted to do, let's say, um, podcasting or stuff like that. All right. If you, if you're starting out to do a podcast or stream, you could get this kit and you'll be, you know, ready to go. All right. So let's throw this out of the way. The first unboxing is done. If you have any questions, this is the time to bring it to me. I want to take this opportunity to say a big thank you before we go to the next thing I want to unbox. Um, I want to say a big thank you to my friend, Jeffrey. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can get his... Uh, so, Jeffrey, all the way in Atlanta, Georgia. Of um, He's the CEO, owner of um, uh, Hobot Shipping. Um, and trust you me, um, he he really, you know, helped me get the next thing we we're going to unbox to Ghana. Obviously, they didn't ship directly to Ghana, so I had to ship it to him. He does shipping from, I think, from um, Atlanta, Georgia, and then, you know, and then all the way to, you know, to, to Accra. So he did that for me. Um, so thank you so much, my brother, uh, my schoolmate, uh, gone into business. Uh, <laughs> got into business as well so um thank you very much uh for that so i'm going to be bringing the next thing on unbox uh if you have any questions keep them coming so let's actually let me actually open the website of the um, let's see the next thing we're going to unbox and let me see let's see let's see I want to it's a video so I'll play the video and once the video is playing I would bring it up I'll set it up on the, on the workbench and then we can uh, we can check it out okay so yeah I'm getting so yes someone asked a question that um, why is it that we are not doing um, how do you call it board framework and stuff because that's all that's the series of working on and I and, and, and I promised board framework is not going anywhere. All right. We're going to do it. The only reason why I'm taking time to do all this unboxing now is because I want to, you know, give us a glimpse of what is going to happen, uh, you know, next um, next season or next year, so to speak. All right. So this is just this was just by way of I just want to get all the all the toys and the gadgets we're going to use on the show i just want to unbox them get them out of the way all right so that um uh, so that we can we can we can go back to a regular thing but trust me the best tech will come back with the board there's a lot of has seen board composer framework a lot of new updates and features that have come a lot more things this time around after we'll move on from the board to so be doing a lot of um metaverse development stuff you know mixed reality stuff also so a lot a lot to look out for um let me let me look for the show video and um, play this and whilst when the first snap maker was introduced okay. it raised over I think you can hear it but let me just um, bring this here and forgive me um, I hope it it gives us a smooth thing because I'm streaming at a very high. Yeah. All right. There you go. When the first Snapmaker was introduced, it raised over two million dollars and connected over ten thousand users in an active community. With the new Snapmaker, we're bringing the next generation of advanced technology to this iconic design. The new Snapmaker is faster, smarter, larger, and more powerful than ever before. From 3D printing to laser engraving and cutting and CNC carving. It supports a wide variety of materials for limitless creativity. The components are made from high strength metal. 
Anodizing converts the surface of the metal into a durable anodic oxide finish. Each process is strictly controlled. And due to the higher level of automation, both the quality and the speed of When the first Snapmaker was introduced, it raised over $2 million and connected over 10,000 users in an active community. With the new Snapmaker, we're bringing the next generation of advanced technology to this iconic design. The new Snapmaker is faster, smarter, larger, and more powerful than ever before. From 3D printing to laser engraving and cutting and CNC carving, it supports a wide variety of materials for limitless creativity. The components are made from high-strength metal. Anodizing converts the surface of the metal into a durable anodic oxide finish. Each process is strictly controlled. And due to the higher level of automation, both the quality and the speed of production have been significantly increased. Every part is meticulously made. In creating the new Snapmaker, we've taken the all-metal design to the next level. The new Snapmaker is modular, and it only takes a few steps to set up. Our software has greatly simplified the process of 3D printing, laser engraving, and CNC carving. You can also connect and control your Snapmaker via Wi-Fi or with the smart touchscreen. Snapmaker is more than just a series of machines. It's a system of powerful modules and add-ons for creative people like you. You can make an extra-large CNC router, a huge laser engraver, and even a four-axis CNC machine. You can further enhance it by adding an IP camera, a hand wheel, an emergency stop button, an enclosure, and more. The new Snapmaker includes an automatic bed leveling feature that ensures you print on a level bed every time. The cooling system is redesigned to cool the print in the most efficient way possible. If the filament runs out, Snapmaker will pause and notify you to load new filament. It can also detect power loss and resumes exactly where it left off so you can recover any project. To remove a print, simply lift the build plate and flex it. For laser cutting, it uses a specially designed aluminum grid table. Its built-in camera allows you to preview a design on any material or surface. What you see is what you get. It makes laser cutting as easy as drawing with a pen. It can convert your drawing into a vector image that can be edited directly in the software for laser engraving and cutting. It is five times faster than the original model. Whenever a new idea strikes, you'll be ready to turn it into reality. For CNC carving, it now features a fully upgraded CNC module and waste board. It supports over 100 carving and cutting bits by using the standard ER11 collet. Upgraded clamps provide a tighter hold. It has faster working speed, a larger step-down, and fully enclosed linear modules. Bring your ideas to life and unlock your full creative potential with the new Snapmaker. It is the most advanced 3-in-1 3D printer we've ever created. Let's make something wonderful with Snapmaker. Join us and back us on Kickstarter today. Well, 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 well. Yes, I, I wanted to switch to the video and bring the box, but I could see I, I didn't switch, so you saw the box coming up. Yes, this is huge. It is huge. So that's the Snapmaker 3-in-1. Uh, this was the video they did when they were in Kickstarter. They moved from that phase. So they are in production. Um, I've wanted this for a very long time. For for normal printers, we feed in papers. What do we feed into 3D printers? Good question. So for 3D printers, you feed something called a filament. Um, I think I had one out yesterday that I'll be changing any which way. So I can show you that. So um, this is a filament. Let me switch to the bench. And you might be seeing my side from... The view. So this is a filament, all right. Um, I'll open one up uh, because I'm obviously going to load it. I already have a Creality Ender uh, V uh, Ender 3 V2 on the on my bench behind me, 
but this is how uh, a filament looks like so paper is synonymous to regular uh, printers filament is synonymous to 3d printers there are different type of printers there's pla um there's i think it's p tag there is the yeah uh P sorry pet g there is the abs um the yeah different types of um of, of filament but the most the most popular one is pla poly something I'm, i don't keep that in my head but this is how it looks like it comes in a spool so it uses um um an additive an additive process okay let me actually um let's open this oh i think i spot it no i mean i spot the keep but anyway so so this is how a filament looks like so as you can see this uh this is pet g um this is one kilograms of it so what happens is that you load this into onto the the printer it has something called um <laughs> yeah yeah edward yeah please pass through so it has something called the the extrusion which which pretty much melts it um at, at a given temperature so if you look at this this um the nozzle temperature should be between 230 to 250 degrees celsius uh here can it cannot focus yeah there you go and then the bed temperature uh come on okay let me put i think when i do this it focuses my hand yes and then um yeah the bed temperature should be between 80 to 90 um degrees celsius right come on focus 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 anyways yeah so this is this is what now there are different filament colors you can have different colors there's even um filaments that are infused with different materials so you can have a filament that is infused with um let's do this uh, so we can see this so there are filaments that are actually being infused with different materials like there's one for wood there's actually one also for um glow in the dark there's one even for i think there is uh is it what something i'm forgetting the material but yes it, it allows you to to they, they have different materials that are being infused but this it's just your um, regular uh, pet G 3D filament, right? So I don't know if Edward that answered the first thing, but yeah, I'm going to I'm going to con I'm going to put this on the Ender 3 um, on the Ender 3D out there. But I think this one also has its own. It comes with um, it comes with um, a sample um, filament, so we can use that. All right, so. Um, out of the this is not this was something extra i got so we can actually quickly look at this um, 842 i at least want to be able to unbox it for us to see everything in the box and then when the show goes offline i would pretty much just um go ahead and set it up so um if you want if you want to be seeing some of this um behind the scenes of stuff that i do please uh consider supporting my channel and then you have access to behind the scenes raw live footage of all these things that uh, when I do them all right so let's open this up I, so I think this is just um, if not extra material embedding that I got yeah I think when I got this they were giving some some extra stuff so yeah I was right so this is this is an extra um, I think this is for CNC. It's a CNC bed. This is an extra CNC bed that um, I got here. Uh, so let's let's put this in there. Keep your questions coming. And yeah, so this yeah this material. So this is frosted matte acrylic. Yeah, so this is acrylic. So um, acrylic is you know like that transparent plastic glass thing and one of the reasons why i got this is for most of our robotics um stuff we want to we want to probably print you see the charges this kind of charges this charges is acrylic as you can see let me see if the diameters are the same i think they are this will be a little a bit thicker so we can actually cut out the charges of this robot from this acrylic sheet so we don't have to be importing such chassis so that's one of the 
one of the reasons why I got that so we can also put that out of out of the way all right awesome good now to the main event um, let's see okay so um, yeah this is huge ah. <laughs> yeah it's getting close to the camera so it's and there you go all right I'm gonna put this here for now let's put this here let's see if I can adjust my camera a bit just for it to go up because I feel yeah uh, yeah let's go a bit up so we can see yeah and sorry if you're seeing any cable there that's my camera cable it's not wireless I have a short I have a short cable so but don't worry I'll try to do some some cable management yes yeah, so welcome to the snapmaker family uh, it says uh, let me see if I can push this back so you can actually see what's happening so it says we are excited to provide you with an eco-friendly packaging package this box can be reused to store your snap maker pieces build your DIY project recycled happy making so yeah so if you want to be seeing want to see a lot of this on the show don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share it and invite your friends to subscribe don't worry operation is 1000 we're trying to get a thousand plus subscribers so please 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 join us if you haven't subscribed go subscribe now if you like the content you know share it you know ask people to join and be careful when you're doing this with knife so and keep your questions coming we are unboxing the big thing and yeah before we go I'll show you a, a few things that uh, some people have done you know with this um, with this printer people have done some really amazing and interesting things you saw things like laser engraving uh, CNC cutting and stuff like that so it's pretty pretty cool all right there we go so the very first thing we're seeing in the box yeah is a quick start guide yeah I think which is a bit solid looks looks sweet uh, well, you know, well, let's just let's take that out first. Um, I'm going to move a few things off the table so that I can, you know, place them. Okay. There we go. Let's put you here. Wow. This looks. This looks interesting. So these are the linear modules, 20 millimeter stock, 360. So I think the one I have is a 350 by 350 millimeter volume build. So it's quite, it's bigger, way bigger than my uh, Creality and the 2v3. Um, and the reason why I got it is because of the three-in-one feature. So I don't necessarily need to get, uh, let's say, a CNC router and get um, a laser engraver. With this, I pretty much have all that ability in one 3D printer. And it's swappable, so I'll, I'll be able to swap different modules out. But I want to do 3D printing, I want to do laser cutting or engraving or CNC as well. So I'll be able to do that um, with just this one thing. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm also waiting for the, the rotary uh, module that allows you to do engraving and also um, actually do CNC carving like in a, in a, um, in, in a rotary way. All right. So how many of this? Actually, we need to get move this as well. Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, so let's move this here. Keep your questions coming. Keep your questions coming. There you go. And if you're interested in learning about this, uh, connect with us. Um, myself and my team will be having some boot camps on on these so you can connect all right so yeah so I think what I'll do is I'm gonna put the box down all right and then I would uh, because I've already I've already opened it I'm gonna put it down and then I can bring out 
you know the items in the box all right so we have our we have our linear module here there we go we have our five linear modules I'm going to put them you've seen them already so I'm going to put them here what else do we have in the box yeah there are some more cool stuff okay this is a two box all right oh yeah so these are the two heads i put them here and oh the touch screen controller so this is where you can um the interface for you to interact with it the yes this is a power module we can put a power module here yes you see so this also came with its own sample 3d filament so so this is black let's see how this one looks like yeah there you go so so uh, again so Edward there you go so this is so you see this is PLA so this is PLA okay cool let's put this here there's still some stuff in the box uh, the power adapter brackets and I think oh yeah the last thing in here oh not actually not the last there are actually two more things in the box oh yeah and uh, the heaviest one the work so this is the base so as you can see there are three bases I think one is for the 3d printer one is for the laser and one is for the CNC and I think I have a second CNC bed so pretty much wow okay so now that we have this let me move a few of the things to the side and open up and show um, uh, some of the you know very very relevant ones I can put this here um, the adapter and the cables we are fine I can throw them here this we want to see what's in there this that yeah okay so let's let's take a look at the modules um, keep your questions coming uh, it's, don't forget it's ask me anything so I think I'm gonna yeah and then we have the the manual right so let's see I must admit this you know this feels looks and feels very quality much like yeah so this is the a350 the biggest in the family the, the, I mean in terms of size this is the biggest in the family that we have so yeah pretty much I think it has some you know really good pictures in the step by step on how to s assemble it and if you are like that do it yourself person like I am you want the ability to you know um, um, you want to assemble this and feel some you know good things so someone may ask why 3d printers why laser engravers why all that now looking at what you can achieve with this set of things all right um, imagine building um, you want to build some robots right the robots need to have some enclosures or parts right a 3d printer can allow you to do that okay I just showed you the charges for um, an autonomous um, robot um, vehicle right if you want to print charges for it you want to you know cut out the charges for you know search an autonomous vehicle you can use a CNC all right or the or the laser cutter which why it is and then you know for yourself for family for fun if you want to create um, let's say some artifact or gifts or stuff like that you can use a laser engraver now this is a desktop version that allows you to do all these three things in one so if you start to do it and you feel like it's interesting enough and you want to get into it as a business then you can invest in bigger and much more you know commercial versions of it but in terms of the desktop there are different types um there are different desktop laser engravers cnc routers and 3d printers that are just singular so one printer does a specific thing so you would get a specific um three 3d printer you get a specific laser engraver you get a specific cnc router those would be three different things if you look at my space here, i don't have a lab it's just a small setup so that there is the ender 3d2 right is this is strictly a 3d printer 
but they have modules that allow you to do something similar with the snap maker where you can change the the head to from a 3d printer to a laser engraver all right enough of the talk let's quickly finish up with unboxing and then before we run away okay so let me open the toolbox the try the two head whoa look at that so let me bring it a bit up so this one is for 3d printing this one here is the cnc and this one here is the laser uh so this is a 1.6 um i think 1.6 watt laser um i won't say it's that strong but hey good news they're coming up with i think um a 10 a 10 watt laser i also have that coming that is much much that's like um a uh, hundred times faster than you know this one that can cut in much more deeper into things for using the laser but for now is and then also caution for working with laser make sure you have you know um a good enclosure i'm trying to see if i can get the enclosure it's quite expensive but again if you can support the channel we can get that and show how that works so hey don't forget that um i believe i'll leave a link to you know in the description of all you know all the things you mentioned but so this are the swappable two heads so like as you can see so this is the 3d printer so the filament will come in here you you, you fill in with the filament here and then this side gets hot and then I think there's a blow as well, so it pretty much uses it to, you know, um, um, do the 3D printing. All right, so this is what is in the, uh, let me put this here. Yeah. And I must say, you know, they, they, they pretty much have made it, you know, quite, it's very robust, very, looks sleek, looks, looks very professional, not cheap. Okay, so here. There are goggles okay so i have a goggle for cnc cause of dust particles that can go into your eye and then yes definitely when you're working with lasers you need to protect your eye so we have two boxes. that's a cool one and then in the toolbox let's see oh okay so i think this is also the brackets to hold your work pieces if you are doing cnc and stuff like that uh how much did it cost uh i'm coming to that <laughs> i'm coming to that um so yeah these are like um i think cnc bits and stuff like that as well so yeah very uh properly packed um toolbox um my friday night, as you can i'm sure you you guys can can guess what how the rest of my night is going to be like the rest of my night is going to be assembling this doing my first print and there's some cool things i want what's wait four minutes okay so let me quickly show okay so this is a control port so you can see there's a touch panel i think it runs android um as well um yeah pretty much that would be it let me show i've already shown you the work base let's look at the quickly the power module of late um i've i'm trying so hard to very mindfully with time so that's how the power module also looks like i mean this is this is really well built I, I'm, I won't lie to you it's really well built you know very very well built um yeah the rest of my evening is going to be spent with my family assembling this. Um, yep, 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 yep. Um, yeah, so yeah, let me show you the linear reel. Uh, there are five of them that actually um, allow you to set it up. Okay. There you go. So this is how it looks like. Uh, this is how the linear reel looks like. All right. Yeah, and... I mean this is this is really trust you this is really robust really robust compared to the, the reality this is quite heavy all right all right so there are five of these for the setup and um yeah those are behind uh on the other side don't worry edward i'm not i'm not running away from your questing <laughs> I just want to show all this thing before we, you know, we call it, we, we run. All right, so that's the work base. Okay, so Fifi started watching <laughs> next. The TV is about a rook. Yes, yes. What are your thoughts about it in relation to the current world? Well, just like any technology, all right, just like any technology, there is the, the good use of technology and the bad use of technology, all right? There's going to be people that will use technology for good and people that will use technology for bad, right? Whatever the case is, 
it has to be ethically used. It is it is a possibility. It's going to happen. All right. Also can't also can't wait to. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, right? I know you guys are way behind. So, um, yes, next shows us the potential or possibility possibilities of when AI is used in a negative way versus in the way. I mean, technology was never intended to be used for bad. All right, but just like any tool. You create a tool for for use in one particular way. People find creative ways of using it to do other things. All right. So there is that. That is why now there are standards and things coming up to guide us in how we create, uh, you know, create AI stuff. All right. Um, so that's 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 interesting. Uh, so yeah. So quickly, let me show you um, a few things people have done uh, with this particular um, with this particular product. All right. And then we'll call it we'll call it um, uh, a day. So this is something someone did. Uh, I want to believe. So this he cut he cut it out of wood. But look at that. So this was done on the snap maker. And then this, which is something my favorite. I think this is one of the things I'm going to do immediately. So another snap maker user did this um, with a snap maker. Uh, you know. So you see how. He got the wood and then he used a snap maker. I think he used a laser to cut this out, assemble it, create kind of like a puzzle. So if you are, again, people are saying if you if you are in the business, if you are creative, you are able to create puzzles and stuff like that. Imagine having something like this or coming to a place like Afrology Solutions and then we'll cut this out. You can start a business creating puzzles and things like this. So imagine you do this and every month you send the subscribers different puzzles to do or even do this and sell as an art piece you know you're generating some you're generating some revenue for yourself again if you want to learn how to do it Afrologic is your plug and again big thanks to uh jeffrey and your guys at hobart shipping for bringing this from the state for me thank you so much um yeah let's go on uh then this christmas is coming so i see myself Printing a couple of this in the next couple of days before Christmas and hanging it as ornament on my Christmas tree. So this was also done. You can see beautiful Christmas ornament all done on the snap maker. Uh, similar thing here. This was also covered with a CNC. So they carved it out. They have a picture and they put it in. They programmed it in the software and then it carved this out beautifully. You can do a wall hanging as well. Um, this again, as you can see, someone is also doing the same thing on wood using the laser cutter. Pretty, you know, pretty much interesting. This was a three. This is a 3D printing section of things. So he used a 3D printer to do this. Uh, I think this was the laser. I'm not sure, but it's like it, there's a light. There's a light base, and then based on the inscription inside, it, it illuminates the. And this is, um, I think, glass etching. So they they're putting the. You can see there's an image they're putting on the glass. Um, this is done with a rotary model. Um, I don't have that yet, um, but it's on the way coming. I'll unbox it when it comes, and I'll show how that works as well. And then this is a 3D printer. So they printed a Christmas ornament and they put cookies in it. Quite interesting. Um, and then this also was done again using the, the machine. So as you can see, there's a lot, a lot of use cases uh, you can use this for. All right. And for me, I'm more excited to see how we can use this and take you know, tech and everything around tech to the next level. As always, this has been Demystified Technology. Hopefully today, I've introduced and demystified 3D printer CNC all in one for you in this show. Um, if you think this is an interesting show for you, make sure you subscribe, you join, and then in subsequent episodes we'll see, you know, we'll learn a lot, a lot of things about this. With that said, stay safe, be good. Um, happy Friday. Uh, enjoy the weekend, but stay safe. Still, COVID, I believe COVID is real, uh, but stay safe. Uh, and I'll catch you again on Sunday for Power Series, where I show you a couple of things on. Um, some interesting stuff. So keep watching this space. Um, be safe. And I love you.